Hello everyone, this is Daniel. I hope you're doing well. And in this video, I want to show you how to download from BitChute using the WebTorrent Bagnet protocol. So in order to download videos, go ahead and right click on the magnet link and copy link location. Then the next thing you want to do is use a free program called WebTorrent Beta and go to File or Edit Paste Torrent Address and it'll automatically start downloading the WebTorrent. And I have some test ones that I can show you that it works. And here you can see the video playing back that was downloaded from BitChute. Um, if you want to access the file, you can go right click show in folder and that'll bring you to where all the videos are. And then you can edit them in After Effects or Premiere or your favorite editing program. Um, there's a faster way of doing this. Um, this works very well. Um, to set it as your default torrent client like you would with BitChute, I mean BitTorrent and uTorrent, um, in your browser for Firefox. So if you just click on the magnet link, it automatically loads up. Okay, duplicate. That's because I've made this video about five times now. Um, let's um, do this magnet link here. And go ahead and add it. So it'll load up the torrent. Now in order to do this, go ahead and go to your desktop and right click on the shortcut for web torrent and go open file location. And when Firefox asks you what you want your default program to handle magnet link URLs, you want to navigate to this folder and choose this web torrent executable. Um, one thing is the app data folder is a hidden folder, so you need to go into your folder settings and go ahead and turn on hidden folders. Um, that's another tutorial, it's not difficult, but um, you need to do that before you can go ahead and point web torrent to your default torrent client, and then you're good to go. You can download web torrents using URLs and then you can batch import and do scripting or whatever you want to do. Download a whole channel. Um, thanks for watching. Hope this helps. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below and I'll respond.